Okay, it's that time again. It's uh, New Year's Eve, the last day of 2013, and I've been working on a team all day. It was originally a team to test out uh, Gliscor, which was one of my favorite Pokemon in Gen 5. But at the very end of it, I stuck on a Mega Pinsir, and um, I've slowly been modifying the team to make it more and more about Mega Pinsir to give it good support and stuff like that. Here's the Pinsir in question. Um, I give it Moxie, since maybe I can kill something with like a quick attack and get the Moxie boost before... Um, Mega Evolving. I, for the most part, the ability prior to Mega Evolution doesn't matter. Uh, once it Mega Evolves, as I understand it, Pinsir changes all normal type attacks to flying, and also, theoretically, gets stab off of them. So, besides, um, besides what, Gale Wings, Talonflame, it's the only Pokemon with a priority flying move um, in Quick Attack. I thought that was pretty cool, so I stuck Quick Attack on it. And then I've got Frustration for what's basically a strong flying type attack. I didn't want Double Edge. Um, Double Edge would basically give me Brave Bird, but I don't want the recoil on Pinsir. And then I gave it uh, Earthquake, since flying and ground... Flying is only resisted by um, Steel, Rock, and Electric, and Earthquake hits all three of those super effectively. Um, I will get some trouble if I run into like a Zapdos or a Thunderous or a Rotom. Uh, Pinsir doesn't really have a good way of dealing with any of those, though, except for um, close combat maybe against uh, Rotom. But... Um, I've got teammates, so I'm not too concerned about those Pokemon. I hope this guy can do work. I've never really used one before. I gave it Swords Dance, um, just so it could set up and maybe even sweep a team. Um, it's... Hi. Hi. I was not expecting that. It's Kobe Bryant 24. Was 24 Kobe Bryant's number? What was I talking about? Um... Yeah, okay. Mega Pinsir is bug flying type, so um, I put Latios on the team as an offensive defogger. The team has a lot of special presence, or not a lot, excuse me, not a lot of special presence. So um, I wanted a strong special attacker to sort of even things out. Um, maybe Latios would be better in a defogging role, but I wanted a Latios on the team, and I just kind of stuck defog on it. Uh, with Rapid Spin, you could never ever use a Life Orb with Rapid Spin because you take so much damage. Like, there were a lot of Pokemon that were kind of offensive that had Rapid Spin, like uh, Starmie. And it, I always hated it when I saw, like, Rapid Spin doing 2% to the opponent and 10 damage to myself. Uh, but Defog doesn't have that problem, which I kind of like. I've got Thunderbolt as a random coverage move. Normally you have, like, Surf there, Hidden Power Fire, but the the power of Hidden Power Fire just really puts me off. And I just, I kind of felt like trying something new. Um, Gliscor, uh, Substitute Swords Dance, Earthquake Facade. This is one of my favorite sets in Gen 5. In Gen 4, I used to run this with uh, Ice Fang rather than Facade. But um, in Gen 5, he got Poison Heal, and Poison Heal made setting up subs a lot easier, and also uh, gave him Facade as an additional option. And Facade is really strong. It's like, I don't remember if it's stronger or weaker than an Earthquake. It's, it's just a really powerful move that comes off of... Um, like, there, there are not a lot of Pokemon that resist ground in normal. As silly as it sounds, um, to list normal as like a coverage option. Um, Skarmory and Bronzong will give it problems, but it's way better against Pokemon like um, Rotom W, who would take almost nothing from an Ice Fang and uh, is immune to Earthquake. It's a really good set. It's not the greatest at keeping momentum. Uh, if you want to run like a Taunt U Turn Earthquake set, um, that's one of my favorites as well. But um, this, is, this was my favorite Gliscor set in. And for most of the time, Glass Scores existed. I don't think it's ever been standard, or it's never been quite standard, but I think it's a really good set that people should try out. Um, I've got a physically defensive Rotom. Uh, this thing is just really good. It walls too many things. I want it all the time. Um, I've used it on the last couple lives, so I don't feel like I really need to explain what it does. Uh, it's really good in a game with a lot of Genesex and Talon Flames flying around, and also, um, what do you call that thing? Aegislash. It's really good against Aegislashes, so I like having it on every team. Um, here's Bisharp. I used to use this thing in Gen 5 uh, UU. It's um, it's a pretty cool Pokemon. It used to have to run a Fighting-type move in order to hit Steel-types, but now Dark hits Steel naturally, so I don't have to do that anymore. Uh, this Pokemon's really strong. I nearly put um, Sword Stance on it in order to power up its Sucker Punch even further, but I had like um, four physical attackers who could all reasonably run Sword Stance and I've got it on two of them, and I felt a little silly putting Sword Sense on absolutely everything. So I ended up just giving it Stealth Rock, since it's the only viable Stealth Rocker on my team besides uh, Gliscor. I think Gliscor has to run, like, um, uh, Hyper Cutter in order to run Stealth Rock, but I don't really remember. Um, that was true until at least Black and White, too. I don't know if that's still true. 
Um, Sucker Punch and Iron Head for Dual Stab Knockoff, because it's a cool new move that I haven't tried out yet, but really want to. And um, Leftovers for Survivability, I guess. I really want you know this thing to not die. And then I've got um, Azumarill. I didn't use this thing for just about all of Gen 5. I don't really like it that much. There's something about it that just rubs me the wrong way. I've got um, a Choice Band set with you know Powerful Aqua Jet and then Waterfall Superpower and Play Rough for just killing anything I hit. Um, this thing's new type is really good. I've been running into it a lot. It's probably the best fairy right now, besides like Xerneas and Ubers. Um, it resists... It, the, its typing is so good now, because water... Fairy, like water negates like the steel resist of fairy, and like it resists like dragon fire, for example, which was like nearly unresisted last game. So, um, and it's got a new bug resist too. People often forget about that. I'd certainly forget about a lot. Fairy resist bug. So, in general, it's gotten a very nice typing buff, and I'm kind of excited to use it to give my team uh synergy. That's it in a nutshell. Um, I guess I'm gonna try finding some games. What do I say to this guy? Winky cat face. Look at that. He probably thinks I'm a girl and that's why he wants to chat. Um, let's see here. He's got the Gastrodon. He's got like a Saiyan team from like, last gen. Like completely unchanged. I guess I'm going to lead with... I don't want to lead with Rotom. Rotom would be my ideal lead, but Gastron gives that thing a lot of problems unless you run Toxic. Um, I don't really have a strong move to hit Rotom super effectively. Let's just do this. I'm very I'm very confused that he led with Breloom. That almost definitely means it's Sashed. And there's nothing I can really do about that. Except take it down to its Sash. And let him spore me. I don't have a Pokemon to take... Okay, that's fine. That's actually not fine, that's terrifying. He's probably going to Pursuit. I could just hit him with a Draco and just have a strong hit off on him. Or he's going to Mega Evolve and Crunch. Damn it, dude, I had to free switch out. I just let this thing die. Um, how can I set up on a Tyranitar? I don't think Gliscor can... I don't think Gliscor's subs will live. And I don't think he'll be really pressured to preserve it. Let me copy down his team. In the looks of things, Gliscor does kind of get to his team though, so I like that. I'm going to send it in anyway just to fear him out and um, get my Toxic Orb activated. Let's set up a sub to see if he wants to stay in. Yeah, he does. He Dragon Inst. That was a little weird. I lost a little bit of health for it. Um, what's he going to do? Swords Dance. I'm faster. What's going on? Why did he sword stance? Keldeo. Rotom's a decent switch into this. As Merrill's a great switch into this. Bisharp is not a good switch in. Let's go with Azumarill. I took that pretty well. He's got the Heatran, which can switch in on the play rough. He's got the Gastrodon, which can switch in on any water move. Um... Superpower actually looks like a nice halfway point right now. But then again, play rough will kill this thing and superpower will not. I don't even think I don't even know if superpower will do it, KO. I'm a I'm an Azumarill dude. I'm strong. Eat that. He went right into his own Azumarill. I do not have a good resist for this thing. Latios is dead, and even then that's not a good resist. Um Might stay in. No, I went minus one defense. I'm better off preserving this thing. Just going to Rotom. That did so much. That did so much. I'm gonna try getting a pain split off. Oh, I got the Gastrodon. That's nice. Uh, I'm gonna burn this. This thing's a problem. I care more about burning him than I care about him toxicing me. Um, Pinsir can't set up safely on this thing. I don't think. Glyscore definitely can't set up safely on it. I don't know what Bisharp can do to it, but I don't... He probably has Earth Power. Let's just go into Pinsir and see what happens. I'm gonna try and set up. I got a Scald, but I'm okay. I'm alive. Let's go with that big frustration. 
I've got quick attack. I'm swords danced. It's flying type. Let's give it a try. That's cool, dude. Pincer's cool. I like Pincer now. Um, I'm faster, so he has to Aqua Jet. I think. He said goddamn. He's impressed. Another shitty random Lux Meowth classic. Damn. Nice BS, kid. Damn. I think I got that guy a little upset. After a good little bit of recording, I uh, realized I accidentally killed my mic pretty early into things. So, um, I sort of cut off the battle that I was doing when I um, killed it, and I guess I'm just going to pick up from where I left off while I was still recording. A bit of an awkward scenario. Um, okay, this guy's got a pretty cool team, I guess. Um... If I was going to fight Ferrothorn, I guess I'd... Rotom's a good lead, and if I can burn the Ferrothorn, that'd be cool. That's really what it all comes down to. Nothing I don't want to burn. Maybe the Jolteon coming in, probably just Stealth Rocks. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Um, my Gly score is Wallop to High Heaven. By, um... I can't... Well, I don't know what I can set up on this thing with. Nothing. Meat seed. That's somewhat fine. Spikes. He's got one attack. What is it? I wonder if it's Gyro Ball. I can't set up that early. He's got like everything still alive. Why did I let this thing set up so many hazards? Fuck. I'll just superpower. I don't care what he goes into, he can go into Dragonite, he can go into Starmie. Or he can just die. That was like his hazard setter. If I come in once with fucking Latios, I make all this shit go away. Why do people just play around with their fucking hazard setters like that? Um, this is not fine. I could have gone into... okay, that's fine. I could have gone into Latios on that. Let's do it now. Ugh. Shadow Ball won't kill me. I don't think. If I missed this defog. Okay, it didn't kill me. If I didn't get a defog off, like, that would have been really bad. Okay, that's fine. I could knock off. That'd be pretty cool. I'm gonna try it. Ooh, dude, did you see that? Do you see how much damage I did? I think I'm just gonna do it again? Or Sucker Punch. Let's do it again. Fuck, Sucker Punch was the right play. Well, there wasn't a right play. Sucker Punch probably wouldn't have killed. I was only plus one. Um, let me see here. Rotom, I don't know if Rotom's faster than Gyarados. Like, Mega Gyarados. Let's assume so. And Volt Switch. No. Hydro Pump. Fuck. I had that read too. Thunderbolt's gonna kill me. I don't wanna go into Gliscor, that's gonna suck. Go to Latios. Volt Switch. I can live with that. I should have kept Latios. See, this is why I should have kept Latios. That did good damage. No complaints. Don't I wall him? What's he gonna do? Earthquake? What's he gonna do? Let's just play rough again. Extreme speed. Okay. By play roughing twice, I've pretty much revealed I'm banded. By not having an item, I've pretty much revealed I'm banded. That Jolteon getting to me, dude.
Breaking news, Redham sucks against fucking grass types. I'm gonna paint split. Alright, cool. Healthy again. He's restoring my health, but not his. Good play. Horn Leech. Is Rotom actually going to beat this thing one-on-one? -on -one? Impressive. Citrus Berry. No, I'm not. So he's like... Okay, there's the will o -Wisp. Let's try and... Get off a bunch of Sword Stances? He's burned. Yeah. This is totally a, a matchup I can win. And this puts me in a good scenario for Jolteon. Why did he Will-O-Wisp? That was bad. I'm just gonna keep on sword sensing until he, like... I was gonna say until he switches, but this guy seems quite dedicated. He just let me set up right in his face. He's gonna lose at least another Pokémon. Am I not faster than this thing? Okay, I am. I thought that was weird. Starmie's gonna die? So that leaves Jolteon. Alright, here's the thing. I think the Jolteon is Specs. But I'm about to find out the hard way. Yes, the Jolteon is Specs. We're leaving. He had to go for, um, because I kept Gliscor alive, he had to go for Hidden Power Ice, or else he couldn't win. Ugh, that was a bit too close. Um, pretty cool little Sand Team. He's got Tyranitar and Hippowdon. It would be really cool if that was like a Sand Force Hippowdon, but I bet it's just another Sand Setter. Um, he's got the this guy. I don't have a fire move anywhere on my team. But I do have powerful special attackers. Let's go for the one that doesn't get owned. Uh, break a sturdy with a will o -Wisp. I don't know why I did that, I should have gone for two Hydro Pumps. It's specially defensive. That's not, like, that's below normal damage. See this, you see that? He just suicide leaded. Like, I'm probably gonna lose my Latios to get off a of defog, but I'd, also he loses all his, um... Hazards that he just set up. Like, what can I not defog against? I can defog against everything. I'm not a counter. I'm beginning to realize that. Oh, Pain Split goes through King Shield. Cool. Did not know that. Fuck! Um. Five Sharp is just Shadow Ball. And maybe I can get up myself right No, I'm just gonna defog. Bisharp seems to beat that guy one on one. Rotom's a pretty good switch into this Pokemon. Most of them don't carry Toxic anymore. You used to see Toxic on this thing all the time, that's a really good move for this thing. I don't know why people stopped using it. I guess because, like, fuck! That was a bad miss. That was a good hit, though, so whatever. I should have uh, pain splitted. It's important to keep Rotom alive. I can take this hit, dude. Come on. Come on, Gliscor. Uh, This will do a lot, right? Oh, shit! I didn't know it would do that much. That was nice. This won't kill, I don't think. Okay, did, okay, maybe the close combat drops made it kill. I'm pretty sure that doesn't kill. Naturally. Um, he's got a Crawdon. This is a pretty scary, like, wall, like, stall team. What's he gonna leave with? Thunderbolt on, um on Latias actually kind of gets to his team. 
This thing's gonna like pay back or knock off or something and it's gonna do hella damage to me. What can I do about that? This thing gets to his team, I'm not gonna just lose it like that. Can't knock off a Megastone. Um, nice powerful frustration. I'm okay with that. All of that's fine by me. Brave Bird? Straight for the attack. Um, let's try a T-Bolt. Let's try a T-Bolt. He's got two ground types, but I don't think he's going to instinctively go into either of them. That would be a really weird play. To bring in a, Gly a Glyscore on a Latios. That's not normally something you would do. That's a bit more normal. I don't have a good way to kill this thing. Besides burn it and then be annoying. Conkleder's coming in. Let's not burn it. That's what he's like. He could bring in nearly all of his Pokemon. What if this is like a water absorb one? So many random Pokemon and you get water absorb. Actually, so many random Pokemon in general get water absorb. He stayed in, actually. Well, you're gonna be like that. And I am gonna. Fuck! That did nothing. Is that like a salt vest? That did like nothing. Let's just put my girl again. Ugh, it's all his health back. Um. Are Stealth Rocks on my side of the field? Did I ever defog? Did he ever get up hazards? This guy never got up hazards. So I can go into Pinsir and quick attack. And that's fine. If he goes into Skarm, so be it. So be it. This is a fine switch. Let's pop off a Draco. Damn, smart! He let his useless thing die. At the same time, that was the biggest thing standing between my Latios and killing a bunch of Pokemon. This will still, still do a lot. Okay, that was a completely pointless switch. Um, Quaggy, dude. I don't have anything on this team to deal with Quaggy. Everything suffers from a burn on this team. Um, Waterfall... Player off is stronger. Let's go for it. Wow! Azumarill! I had no idea! That did so much! Oh my lord! Um, let's do this. This is kind of weird, but I'm just going to do it. Now I'm going to get up my stealth box. In the vague attempt to um, kill that Charizard before it, yes, before it comes in. He's going to have Defog, pretty sure. Yeah. That's fine though, I got the switch. I'm faster than a Charizard. Uh, this thing doesn't have Sucker Punch, does it? I don't think Thunderbolt will kill though. I'm kind of scared of it just like, just sword dancing. I need this thing for Charizard? No, I don't. Got a Zamaral for Charizard. What's the point of this, dude? What's the objective? Quagsire is dead. Um, I don't care. As long as you don't set up. Let's just do this. Seems a little bit awkward. But I'm just gonna do it. He doesn't have the Skarm anymore. What's left? The Gliscor? Did the Gliscor die? No, it's, it's still around somewhere. It hasn't come out yet. What's it gonna do to me? Azumarill can almost sweep with, like, Aqua Jets. 
depending heavily on what the Charizard does. How fast is a Crawdon? Not very fast, right? I know it's kind of fast after some after some Dragon Dances. It can like it's faster than everything. I think it takes like two or even three Dragon Dances for this to outspeed even Scarf Pokemon. I think it's not that fast. Faster than the Dragon Dancing Lapras anyway. I actually don't even know if it's faster than the Dragon Dancing Lapras. Oh, there's the... there's that guy. So Quick Attack did a lot. I'm curious to see how much frustration will do. Even more. Fling. Aha, you've activated my guts. I'm a Moxie Pincer. Not that it matters. Pincer's pretty cool. Um, Solar Beam. Sunlight. That's a little scary. Aqua Jet is powered down by the sun. Fuck! I maybe should have kept that alive. Oh well. Now it's gonna get very awkward. Burn that sun. Is this a speed tie? Oh, that was Aqua Jet. Okay, that makes sense. He just let his biggest threat die. The worst switch in history. GG. That wasn't over, I don't think. That was still that wasn't that wasn't over. Let's do one more. Um First turn knockoff. Balls to the wall. Tits to the bricks. <laughs> he first turned fire punched. Or fire blasted. I'm sorry. Um I'm gonna get my stealth rocks. Wow, that just naturally did ninety nine. I made I made some bad predictions there. I predicted wrong on every turn. Um, I'm faster. Or am I? I'm not faster. Oh, that's right. I'm fucking max 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 attack. I'm pretty sure that's faster than Scizor though, naturally. Actually, I have no idea. So that was dumb. So this is a Mega Scizor. I am looking at a Mega Scizor. There's Tentacruel. Good old Tentacruel, an actual spinner. I missed you. <gasps> Fuck! It's fast! And it has Ice Beam! I wasn't expecting that. Um. Okay. Let's go to Pinsir. And kill it. Just kill it. Uh, this will kill me with an air slash. Say bly. Long time no see, old friend. He's got Toga Kiss. Okay. That was nearly a really terrible play, but it, and it wasn't. I maybe should have kept that alive. He let my he let that do so much work when he had like a Togekiss flying around somewhere. Doesn't he? He like kept it alive, right? Yeah. So, um Redum gets to his team a little bit. Right now it looks like I have to go into Azumarill and Aqua Jet. That's my only available move. If I didn't kill that Gungar right there right then, then I couldn't have won basically. Can't uh, paralyze this guy. Trick me a scarf. Somewhat okay with this. If he's tricky, he's not. Um, he's not Thunder Wave. He's trick and nasty plot. I don't know how I feel about that. It's kind of weird. I maybe shouldn't have done things like that. Let's Mega Evolve Frustration. 
That did good damage. Yes, dude, pincer. Pincer doing work. Um. All right, that was fun. I guess I've done enough battles for the day. Um, next PO Live, I'm kind of thinking about doing either one about Crocodile or one about Nidoking, since those are Pokemon that I like that I haven't used in the new game. And I've kind of got my eye on um, some of the some of those OU UU kind of midline kind of guys. See if they've got uh, potential in the new game when they didn't have potential in the old game, thanks to you know the new meta. So thanks for watching. Um, leave a like or comment or subscribe or do any of the things that you do to a video that you enjoy if you enjoyed it and if you didn't then feel free to leave some criticism so that I can read it and um, apply it